In this short animated video, we will deep dive into the fascinating world of statistics and probability and we'll talk about the second most common distribution after the normal distribution and that is Poisson distribution. We'll also look at how it can be applied to real life situations with help of the relevant examples. So please stay tuned, don't go anywhere else. Just sit back, relax and, and watch this entire video till the end. So Poisson distribution is derived as a limiting case of binomial distribution that help us understand the likelihood of different number of events happening when we know the average rate of those events. The distribution was discovered by French mathematician Simon Poisson. One of the earliest application of Poisson distribution was in analyzing the number of death caused by horse cake in the Persian army. Poison used the distribution to model the rare event of fatal accidents caused by horse cake and studied the pattern and the probabilities associated with such rare occurrences. It was named after him to honor his contribution in the field of mathematics and statistics. Now imagine that you have a jar filled with color marbles and you want to know that if we take out 5 marbles from the jar every minute, so using the probability distribution, we can figure out the chance of taking out a specific number of marbles in that minute. Or well, let's say you're interested in the number of cars passing through the road in a given time. That is where the Poisson distribution can help us predict the probabilities of different number of cars passing by based on the average rate of car arrivals. The Poisson distribution and the normal distribution are two most commonly used probability distribution in the statistics. I think you would have heard that these two are the most common probability distributions. Poison distribution applies to accident rates, arrival times, the defect rate, the occurrence of bacteria or fungus in the air and many other areas in the day-to-day -day life. Now when we talk about the shape of the Poison distribution, it depends upon the parameter lambda which represents the average rate of event occurring in a fixed interval. When lambda is small, say for example lambda equal to 1, the distribution is skewed to the right with long tail on the right side. As lambda increases from 5 to 10, the distribution becomes more symmetrical and bell shaped, resembling the shape of a normal distribution. Conditions for Poisson distribution. So the Poisson distribution is derived as a limiting case of binomial distribution under certain conditions that the number of trials in the binomial distribution n is large and the probability of success in each trial p is small. The resulting distribution approaches the Poisson distribution. To apply Poisson distribution, certain conditions should be met, like the fixed interval. The event of interest must occur within fixed interval of time, space and other discrete unit. For example, counting the number of phone calls received in an hour and the number of accidents at particular insertion in a month. Independence. The occurrence of event must be independent of each other. This means that the happening of one event should not influence the likelihood of another event occurring. For example, the arrival of phone calls at call center should be random and not influenced by the previous call. Constant average rate. The average rate at which the event must occur remains constant over the entire period of time. This means that the probability of an event happening in a given sub-interval should be proportional to the length of that sub-interval. For example, if an average rate is 3 accidents per day, it should remain constant throughout the day. Rare events. The events of interest should be relatively rare and have a low probability of occurrence. This condition ensures that the Poisson distribution is a suitable approximation 
as it assumes that the probability of more than one event occurring in very small sub interval is negligible and last is the event count the variable of interest is a count or the number of events that occur within the fixed interval the poisson distribution provides the probability of obtaining a specific count of events it is important to note that the poisson distribution is an approximation and may not perfectly fit all the situation However, it often provides a good approximation for events that satisfy above conditions. Now, let us see how do we calculate mean and variance for the Poisson distribution. For that, let's first look at the Poisson distribution formula, where x denotes the count per second for the probability that x is equal to k is given by e k power of minus lambda into lambda k power k by k factorial, where lambda is the mean number of success. K denotes the number of success and E is a constant which is 2.718. Now we come back to what is mean. Mean is given mathematically mu is equal to lambda. So mean represents the average or the expected number of events that occur within the fixed interval. Now what is variance? So variance of a population distribution is also given by lambda. So the variance represents the measure of spread or dispersion of distribution around the mean. Standard deviation. Standard deviation is nothing but the under root of variance or lambda. So for Poisson distribution, mean and variance are equal and are both determined by parameter lambda. So this means that if you know the average rate of events occurring, you can determine the expected mean and the variance of the distribution. Now we can see this using some examples. Let's look at some real life examples of the Poisson distribution. The number of phone calls received at the call center within the specified time interval. The number of accidents at a particular location within a given time period. The number of earthquakes in the particular region. Number of emails received per unit of time. Number of defects found in a batch of product produced in a manufacturing process. The number of customers arriving at retail store, bank or restaurant. The number of patients admitted to hospital or emergency room within the certain time period. These are some of the real life examples. So let's take the first example. On average, lightning kills three people every year in US. Now we need to calculate what is the probability that only one person is killed this year, assuming the lambda equal to three. So here we are given that three people are killed on average in US, but we need to calculate that only one person is killed this year, not more than one. So in this case, assuming that they are independent random events, as in what how many people are killed last year how many people will be killed this year are totally independent and that is why it follows a poison distribution so we'll use the formula p is x equal to k e k power minus lambda into lambda k power x by x factorial so we are assuming lambda equal to 3 here which is given in the question so we'll put the values where lambda is equal to expected number of people killed x is the number of people killed in a year and we put the values for x equal to 1 that is 1 person is killed for e k power minus 3 into 3 k power 1 by 1 factorial we calculate we get 0.15 so the probability is 15 percent that only one person will be killed this year now let's take a little complicated example five percent of the population are left-handed what is the probability that a random sample of 100 people contain first case zero left-handed people second case at most two left-handed people third case more than three left-handed people we start with first case here we have the formula for poison distribution where x is a random variable that represents the number of left-handed people in a sample k is the number of left-handed people who we are interested in Lambda is the mean of Poisson distribution, which is equal to n into p, where n is the sample size and p is the probability of success. That is the proportion of left-handed people. Now, in our case, k equal to 0. 
so lambda is equal to n into p so that n is number of people that is 100 probability of success a is 5 percent that is 0 0.05 so we get lambda is n into p as 5. we put this value in the table or formula for Poisson distribution for x equal to 0 we get e k power minus 5 into 5 k power x divided by 0 factorial so x is nothing but uh, 0 here uh, we put the values we get 0 0.0067 so the probability that comes out is 0 0.0067 we convert into percentage we get 0 0.067 percentage let's take the second case at most three left-handed people here we apply the same formula for person distribution in this case we need to calculate for k equal to 1 2 and 3 because we the case talks about at most three left-handed persons so we, this includes zero left-handed people one left-handed people 2 and 3 as well lambda as usual will have same value 5 so this is what we need to calculate we will calculate for x equal to 0 1 2 and 3 and add all add them all we already done for x equal to 0 in the previous example we start with x equal to 1 which get 0 0.0337 for x equal to 2 we get 0 0.0842 for x equal to 3 we get 0 0.1404 we put this here and we sum it up we get 0.2650 so the probability that the population contains at least at most three left-handed is 0 0.2650 if you convert into percentage it comes to 26.5 let's take the third example where we have more than three left-handed people we again apply the same formula for poison distribution but in this case we need to calculate for k greater than or equal to 3 not equal to but k greater than 3 so we have the same lambda as NP, we get 5. So this is what we need to calculate for x greater than or equal to 3. So we need to calculate for 4, 5, 6 and so on till n, which is a little difficult to calculate. The other way is we know that the sum of probability is always equal to 1. So we for x equal to 3 will subtract it from 1, which is less than or equal to 3. So that at p x less than or equal to 3 that we have calculated in the previous case 2, you can look at that. And we sub if we subtract from 1, we get p all the values which is more than 3. So we subtract, we get as p greater than 3 equal to 0 0.7350. So the probability that comes up is 73.5. So if you are still watching this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and do press the bell icon for all the notifications from digital e-learning. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button as well. Share this video with all your friends and colleagues and in case if you have any suggestions or comment do let me know in the comment box below. Now is the quiz time on this topic. First question. The mean of Poisson distribution is equal to lambda, lambda square, 2 lambda or e k power lambda. Second question. The Poisson distribution is characterized by which of the following parameters? Mean and the standard deviation, mean and variance mean and median and mean and mode question 3 which of the following is true about poison distribution it is a continuous probability distribution it is used to model continuous random variable it is used to model the number of events occurring in fixed interval of time or space it is assumed a normal distribution you can leave your answers in the comment section below